believe I just did that on stage. <laughs> but let me say thank you. Thank you, Vancouver. I see you all upstairs. I see you back there, the hearts and the... I see everything, and I am I'm feeling it tonight. Of course I can see you. Okay, this is very, very high. Oh, thank you. Did you hear her pick up line? She said, don't fall. Don't fall for us. Oh, thank you, Diego. <laughs> yes, Diego! Okay, welcome. Oh, and there's Tony! Yeah! Tony is getting so much amazing, amazing footage. Um, so thank you so much, whoever's like having fun and, and saying hi to Tony every time you guys say it. Yeah? We love you, Tony, and we love what you do. We love your art. Okay. Support, support great artists. Yeah! Now, the q and I had quite the time last night, if you saw. <laughs> I was turned, <laughs> says her. Anyways, Vancouver, are you ready for, once again, an unforgettable time with the q and Yeah! Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna contain myself. Um, okay, which is my transparent family. Oh, he's so creative. Look what they started with. At I B L Y zero eight two six says, Vancouver, put it back up. Yeah! Now, thank you for that because it has been my mission to say fill in the blank. Put it back. Vancouver for the first time and say it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. Wait. You know I'm feeling this. Vancouver, put it back up. <laughs> Now the next question is, <laughs> at Jade's Touch says, what do you do before going on stage to perform? Do you have like a routine or something? <laughs> well, Jade's Touch, before I go on stage, I, I know I get cheesy, I, I do pray and I thank God and I tell myself how lucky I am to do what I love to do and see you almost every day, so. That is what I do. You don't know that. I have a very big heart. I, I got some capacity and bandwidth on me. And routine, I meditate. Um, if you guys, if, does anybody meditate? It's life changing. So whoever um, needs to kind of relax and focus and center yourself, yeah, I, I meditate and I. Yeah, self-care 2019. Yeah! <laughs> Next question. At Me Youngs said, if you had to describe your fans in one word, oh my god, these questions always get me excited. <laughs> what would it be? I love you so much. Well, I love you so much too. Is, is At Me Youngs here? I'm not talking about myself. <laughs> I didn't write that because I would probably have like a bigger smile than me. <laughs> Sorry, trying to come up with the smart answer right now. One word, one word. Come on, I want to give you guys an intelligent or, or inspiring answer. My answer while saying all that and brainstorming. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> I'm going to hyphenate it. I hope it's not cheating. If I could describe my fans in one word, it's ride or die. <laughs> Y'all are my ride or die. Ride or die with you. <sighs> Not 
tell everybody that's a word. That's one word. <laughs> Next question. At H die underscore D A I like die not die um, underscore S says, do you have any hidden talents slash skills or surprising hobbies? No, I found out a hidden talent, and you guys are gonna be really weirded out, but I promise it was funny. I can peel a banana with my feet. And you guys are gonna see that footage thanks to Allure magazine. I was like, how does this contribute to my music, but okay. I hope it's entertaining, guys. I hope I'm not scaring you. But that's my hidden talent. Can you peel a banana with your feet? <laughs> Watch, everybody starts doing it. No <laughs> one! Oh, I mean, it's gonna come out soon, but I did this thing like, nine things you've never done before. Clearly never done before, so that's, you'll figure it out. <laughs> Next question, almost. Maybe I should have said something more like interesting. Less You guys <laughs> the feels. Okay, at the next question. At so one they love. So one the love? Is that oh is that you? Hi. Um says, have you ever thought about writing a book about your career from the beginning of SNSD, finished it, to your American debut? Love you lots. I would love to write a book. I bet it's gonna be like a Harry Potter seven part series. Cause I mean, you think about Tan, Sun, Beauty, Suyang, Yuna, Soyeon. That's a lot, a lot of content. <laughs> That's a lot, a lot of stories. So I hope you guys enjoy if I end up writing a long story. And the next question, excuse me? How long is this day? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay. And Eun Huang said, oh, I think I've seen this name. Hi, Eun Huang. Talking to myself, no problem. <laughs> Not Barbie is a great inspiration to me, and I feel somehow represented by this song. Thank you for singing that so beautifully. All the women, all the men, I saw you guys going, I'm good, I'm good, not Barbie. It was beautiful. It, it touches me inside. I saw you, Janet. This, this is right in the middle. He was like, I'm good, I'm good, not Barbie. So, whatever. Oh, thank you. He's feeling it. He feels beautiful. Thank you. You are beautiful. Um, I'm so happy that it does. And what is inspiring me these days? Um... Being on stage with with you guys, being in Vancouver, obviously. How? Oh no! I have. I, I got in a side bowl. I, I ran around. Um, stay long. I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. So I think the most inspiring part is to come back on stage. Um, I've been dreaming about it. I've been. Like, it's been what I've been planning for, like, for so long. And it still feels like a dream to be here. And it's inspiring to be up here singing the music that's been with me for quite some time. And it's inspiring me to write more. So, um, thank you for being the inspiration. <laughs> Uh, next question, at Justine says, who or what motivates you to keep on going in life? That's a similar question, but somewhat deeper and okay. It's me. <laughs> it's you. It's totally you. When I saw you singing, oh my heart. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think... You know I'm... Okay, let's see. Who 
obviously kind of ties into that last question, obviously, you guys, but also being around um, very, very talented um, yes. leaders and musicians. Um, Diego. <laughs> and Tony. And, and um, my family at Transparent because it, they've been really, really inspiring me and I want to send them all the love for um, creating awareness and pushing Asian Americans, Asians all around for um, I remember that when we were when we were going um, back to the studio, uh, the question was, what, what, what am I doing this for? Why am I doing this? And it was for change, for everyone around. So um, yeah, just creating art, being around amazing artists, and you guys. <laughs> The next question is at Asumatic says, are you planning to have any choreography in the future? Oh, too old, but on the skin. <laughs> I, I love to dance. You know I love to dance. So if I have the chance to, I need to start planning a dance video or something. <laughs> next question. At Hen Yerk says, Hi! Hi, Hen Yerk! Oh, hi, sorry. Hi, New York. Is that, am I correct? Am I right? Okay. Hi, New York! Oh, is that Hi, New York? Uh, hi, New York! Um, says, Tan loved the chubby birds here in Vancouver. Have you seen any chubby birds or anything that caught your attention? It's cr I mean, I didn't know that Tan loved chubby birds, but um, I looked up what chubby birds were. They're so cute. Where can I see them? <laughs> Vancouver looking at me like, oh, you haven't seen one yet? <laughs> There's chubby squirrels too. Yeah. Are you guys making this up? Chubby squirrels, chubby raccoons, next thing you know it's like... Coyotes! Chubby bears, chubby crocodiles. Yes. Oh. Uh, welcome to Canada, making up chubby everything. <laughs> okay, now I know. Next question. As Huey, at Huey's says, as movie lover, as a movie lover, who knows the perfect movie reference for every situation? Me? Thank you. Now I try, I pretend that I'm this film critic on my own. I'm like, the production is beautiful. The lighting and the camera work and the way it was, and yeah, I get in my head. I, I love to, to analyze and try to picture myself in movies. So the question, Thank you for that flattering comment. It says, what are three movies you think everyone should watch in their lives? Oh. Digging up my, my movie encyclopedia. Um, my favorite three would have to be the Godfather series. Yeah. What would Michael Corleone do? Um, <laughs> Fight Club. Huh? Oh, sh first rule. You are not a special snowflake. That's my favorite line. Um, and. Okay, magic. No, not magic man. I'm not gonna. Although I do love magic. Um, I would say last movie. Oh, Vancouver, you are wild. The last movie would be The Theory of Everything with, have, have you guys seen that? Oh, I love, I loved, um, yeah, I cried, I cried a lot. I was on the plane, and do you know when you're on the plane, do you know that it's scientifically proven that you cry more? Don't, don't act like you don't cry on the plane like Sovin. How many of you cry on the plane while watching those types of movies? Same. Well, the theory of everything, and I feel like I named way too many serious movies. Um, the last one would be That's So Fetch. Yeah. <laughs> the next question 
says, at Susie N I A R says, moving to another country with a different culture, a language you don't speak well, and constantly being uh, challenged because of your scoliosis. How do you build up the confidence that was required? And what advice would you give to someone whose confidence had has been dwindled? Well, Susie Niar, I had realized you have to set goals. And when you set goals, both short term and long term, it's a matter if you don't have a map or a blueprint. When you set those goals, all those days and all those moments add up, and like that experience and that knowledge is what makes you go further. I think and there's no other shortcuts and um, I hope whatever it is um, I mean scoliosis was such a big thing for me and I realized some of the greatest athletes and the greatest prima ballerinas from from the principal ballet the New York principal ballerina to Usain Bolt has a similar situation and they've all taken those situations to make their weaknesses their strengths so Work, 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 <laughs> and you'll get that confidence. Whew, that was heavy. I hope you were here because I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> Next question. At Shin underscore Shinin says, is there a song that always moves you to tears? That's a good question. Any, su any suggestions? Oh, <laughs> My, mm, oh, sorry, my, mine's gonna get really, yeah. Um, oh, I'll never love again, I'll never love again. Yeah. The, the first one that came to mind is One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey and Boys to Men. Such a good song. And recently, too Good at Goodbyes by Sam Smith. Like it, I remember listening to that song before I go into like a scene for class. Like it gets me so wallowed up. Like you could hear the every time you hurt me the less that I cry. And every time you leave me the quicker these tears dry. And every time you walk out the less I love you. Baby, we don't stand a chance. It's sad, but it's true. I'm way too good at goodbyes. Yeah. And, and, and another song that, that might be funny, but it was it was really serious. I've been you guys hear um the Black Panther soundtrack. Yeah. Have you guys heard Pray For Me? Yeah. The lyrics, just that beginning goes, I'm always ready for a war again. Go down that road again. Is all the same. Tell me who's gonna save me from myself when this life is all I know. Who gonna pray for me? Take my pain from me. She said she's gonna take it all from me. But uh, pray for me is also oh, I fight pain, I fight myself, I fight you. Yeah, that, that's my song right now. That that gets me wallowed up. Next question. Idol SNSD says, if someone narrated your life, who would you want to be the narrator? <laughs> That's the first person I thought of. I got Morgan Freeman. Um, but I think it might be because I watched Captain Marvel, Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson for facts. And, and then... Oh, that's a good one. No, oh, Cardi B. Oh, Cardi B. That's a good one. I was going to say Kristen Bell from Gossip Girl because she's so sassy. And I have, like, you. No, I'm scared to. But, and another one, another fabulous person. I mean, Cardi B is so amazing. But, oh, Question. Um, Tengu Vocals says, do you plan on continuing your career in Korea in the future? Oh. No, that's a great question. I believe that 
I still am. I would love to, and I'm always finding a way to come back. And I did that when I was in Korea, dreaming of coming back home. And it's it's such a wonderful feeling to be able to to um, take all this and bring it back home. And ultimately, I came back home to be a global star. Yeah. A global diva, world domination through love and music. Yeah. And the whole reason is because I want to take what we've done, what I've done, further, reach further, reach more places and reach more hearts. And oh my God, tomorrow. So um, I am actually going to go to Korea right after um, after the, the Lips on Lips mini showcase tour. And um, I'm just so thankful that I get to um, do this. Um, most importantly, I am doing this independently. I mean, I sound like I'm doing this by myself. I love you, Transparent! But I, I want this, I, I want to do this organically. I want this to grow and I want this to really, really reach hearts and move. And, and I, I want to see everybody who's who I can I, 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 grab me and I will sing for you if you, if you want me to sing for you and um, yeah it's, it's a great question that I'm always going to find my way back home and that's, the, that's both the Korean in me and the American in me so thank you thank you for that question and the last question says at Lily the Swan are you here Lily? okay says, are you going to sneak more gummy bears at the iHeart Awards? <laughs> LOL. If you don't know, I went to the AMAs last October. First time. Way too excited. Way too nervous. Was in a wonderful dress that had pockets. <laughs> I did not know I would get caught on camera. Thanks, Chelsea. I hope Chelsea doesn't catch me again. But I had gummy bears in my pockets. So, if I have a if I have pockets in my dress, I will take it, but I don't care about gummy bears right now because I want to say thank you for all the fans who have been voting. Yeah. How, how are your fingers feeling? All the fans here who have voted. And all the fans who, who in Asia and everybody watching and everybody who's going to see this, I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I. You deserve it's, it's been incredible to see and just how everybody's coming together and um this is a moment for k-pop yeah! so thank you so much and i i'm going tomorrow and i'm i'm so excited and i can't i'm gulping I'm like, if i win or i already feel like a winner thanks to you so thank you so much that's the end of my. This is such a. This is such a great. Um, this is very well curated. Thank you. Yes. Now I have. I I don't know how to take it because um. Tiffany, Tiffany. Well, babe, I have gloves on, and it's kind of my rule right now to stay in swag. So um.